What's up guys? Time for another session of Motor Views. I'm Mike. This is Narby. Today we're going to be doing a nice bottle that Narby found on one of the auction sites. It's the Balvini Ton 1401, the famous Ton 1401, batch number eight. Um, I believe we've reviewed one of these so far, right? Batch, batch nine. nine? Correct. We are huge, 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 huge fans of the Balvini Ton 1401 series. This one is a UK release, uh, batch eight. There are nine batches released total. Batch nine was a USA release. And um, before we even, actually let's, let's start, let's, let's pour ourselves a little dram. We'll talk some more about this whiskey. They don't make any more. There's not going to be a batch 10. Um, so now there is Balvini Ton 1509. And I can go ahead and tell you that they are good whiskeys, but not like the 1401s. These are incredible. And um, it says right here, um, the... The cask numbers, there are nine bourbon casks and three sherry casks all blended together. And some of these sherry casks are over 40 years old. There's a lot, a lot of old stuff in here. Um, medium age stuff and slightly younger than that. So all blended together for just an incredible, incredible, incredible experience. You can find these at auctions. And personally, uh, we got this one for 185 pounds, which is around $300. And um, this label is ripped, as you can see right there. Hopefully you guys can see. And it didn't have a box. so. As a collector, it's not worth as much because the label's ripped and there's no box. But as a drinker, when you're gonna open it, I don't care about the box. I don't care that the label's ripped. For me, it's about the drinking experience. So I got to save some money. We got to save some money on, um, on a really special whiskey. But um, if you've never bought a bottle from an auction before and you're interested in getting one, this would be the one I would recommend and and the reason for that is it's a, it's batch eight and It's in the it's a UK release and it goes for less than let's say a batch one two or three or the USA releases in the UK auctions they go for a lot more because they're rare over there so I'm not gonna bore you guys with a lot of auction talk, but Look out for this if you are starting to look at auctions. We do bring that up and um, you're looking for a really special whiskey, look for the Balvini Batch 8. Because you're gonna get some of those dark, rich flavors that you get from a 40 plus year old Balvini. Um, the color is nice, beautiful, brown, mahogany. Just a beautiful color. And this is bottled at 50.2% ABV. That's perfect. Yeah, and I can already tell you that we're probably not gonna add any water to this, because as you guys can see, we've tried it before, and, and it's just, just perfect the way it's bottled. It's bottled to be perfect. It really is. There's definitely some old, like mid-late 60s Balvini in here. Some of the best vintages of Balvini. It's, think of the richest, most aged, perfect honey. I haven't, I don't know what that is. It's not like I've gone and tried really aged, aged honey. I've had fancy honeys that I've paid a lot of money for. And obviously it was better than your average regular honey. But when you put your nose in here, that's what you think of. You think of, you get that honey and it's just so rich and dark and intense. And it's, it smells better than any honey you've ever smelled. So that's what immediately comes to mind. Along with a, a, a very nice vanilla. 
and, and, and a brown sugared caramel, and it's almost buttery because it's so silky. I'll let Mike say some words. Balvini is known for, they go for kind of a medium honey finish and honey process with their mixing. You could say that there's like, you know, sherry whiskeys or like peated whiskeys, very smoky whiskeys, but they go for kind of a honeyed whiskey where it can be any variety of honey. It can take off in a million different directions. And with this one, there's definitely some, some of those aged, nice aged sherry honey properties like we found in some of the really good spring banks. Like Narby said, like you just, you've never bought it or had it, but you just know it's the highest quality, aged, exquisite, rich honey. And that's exactly what he's talking about. It's the center of everything. But then you get all kinds of crazy fruits as well. You get, a, you get some really good old preserved leather from the sherry notes in there. But then with all the bourbon notes, I get like crazy vanilla, crazy really nice oak, not nearly too drying, kind of perfect. It's really good. It's, 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 it's what Mike said. It's the mixture of the, 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 the bourbon fruits and the bourbon vanilla and with that sherry richness where you get the espresso and rich the rich chocolate and the wood spice and 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 the darker fruits and the dark you know it's just it's just such a wow combination and the blending of this and the reason why we know it's such perfect blending is we've had the luxury of trying other balvinis both old and young both sherried and bourbon and it combines it into such a special whiskey and if you were to let's say go get a balvini 40 year old you're paying thousands and thousands of dollars this didn't cost us thousands and thousands of dollars you know this cost us 180 pounds which is you know a little bit more than 300 dollars and uh we got that at an auction not too too long ago so it's um if you want to combine if you want to factor in price, it just doesn't get any better. It simply, simply doesn't get any better for I don't know any whiskey out there, period, for around $350 that's this quality. So I'm not saying it's going to be $350 if you find it in an auction now. It'll probably be closer to 300 pounds, um, but still I think very, very worth it. On the palate. At, mm, so good. At 50% ABV, it's perfect. You would not want to add any water to this. It's just you taste it right away that you don't change it. It's screaming, don't change it. A lot of vanilla, brown sugar, rich honey, bourbon fruits, sherry fruits, espresso, light oakiness, not light oakiness, some oakiness, some cinnamon, some chocolate, beautiful bourbon stuff, beautiful rich sherry stuff, all combined and intertwined together for just an incredible experience. Um, I wish these ton 1401s were still coming out, but they're done, but Bal Balvini Magic. This is Balvini Magic, it's really, really, really good and the finish is long and what an experience. I'm getting, really getting the perfect balance. On the bourbon side, super luscious, juicy, dripping, sugary, caramelized, glazed, tropical fruits, apricots, plums, pineapples, like little glazed chunks of pineapple with aged exquisite honey, mangoes, all kinds of citrus on the bourbon side. Then the sherry side, dark fruits, like aged roasted nuts, like super rich, expensive aged roasted nuts, glazed with honey, dark, dark red fruits, like raspberries, and then dark black fruits, like blackberries, crazy black currants, exotic red currants, like everything basically, all wrapped into one. But then with the honey, the honey is always there in the background, that traditional Balvini honey. Wow. Really good, how would you score this, Mikey?
give it 95. That's a that's a very very impressive score. Um, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a 93. I absolutely love this whiskey, um, and we have more Balvinis of these tons. Um, again, like I said, this is batch eight. In the near future, we'll bring out some other ones as well. The second one we've done here, we've already done nine. If you have not seen the review for batch nine, definitely check it out. And we'll see you guys soon. Cheers.